do you think if the Duke 250 came in even at least as an option, you could have done more? Definitely, yeah. So that's the thing, eh? Manufacturers will get it. I mean, they're trying, they're trying. It's business, right? They will try, they will try anything. I mean, there's still people, uh, EBS and Manufacturing, they're still giving you single channel EBS, right? MT15. Are you gonna buy MT15? So the best way for you, no, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fantastic bike. It is a really good bike. It is, the engine is based on the bike which I love so much, R15 version 3, right? But the best way for you to make a statement to the manufacturers is buy the bike. Or buy the bike which has two channel radius. Or buy the bike which has a sleeper clutch. Or whatever is mandatory, you know, which is a safe thing. There you go. My job, very difficult. The job of trying to help you, because I cannot help you. Because if tomorrow someone asks me, should I go for the U250 or something else which has ABS, it is my duty to tell him to go with the bike which has ABS. Hi, sir. Biking is booming, that's for sure. Our brands are across the globe here. And the culture of biking is also strong coming out of the China. What's lacking is the critical, what's lacking is the infrastructure must require more tracks, more uh, you know, schools which are focused on all aspects of biking. Different tracks. So now we're talking about RH and all that. But if that to really test himself out, Indian roads are very hard to do in a similar situation. No, so you have experience and of course you have that kind of a, you know, that kind of madness to do it. Yeah. Otherwise it's always a track that's really the place. But uh, MMRT and the Kali and uh, both, there are the three, four I can really identify. But a country in India, at least state should have that much more tracks. That's what I think. You know so? So maybe so. Can we have a round of applause for that part? Uh, no, absolutely. I mean, a lot of people ask me, a lot of young kids ask me, uh, I want to be a MotoGP rider. What do I do? My simple answer to that question is, move to Spain. <laughs> See, I, uh, I firmly believe that there's no dirt of talent. And I'm basing my opinion on the fact that even if you look at the car scenario, the cars, right? All the guys uh, who have got the opportunity, yeah, to race four wheels, uh, they have done really, really well. Unfortunately, motorsport racing is a very, very costly affair. Um, it's very cutthroat, and uh, to be at that level, you have to be insanely good. And uh, we also need to have really good support. As you said, just three, one of the main reasons why we don't have really high quality riders or even good riders from India who are upside have not done that well is essentially because there is no exposure. Three tracks in the world, I mean, I do not, I don't mean it as an offense, but Kali is not even a full fledged track. So that leaves us with two tracks. It's MMSC and Wood. Motorcycles are no longer just looked at things that you commute on. Yeah? Motorcycle at the lifestyle is coming. That's phase one. Great. Motorcycle racing is the next step. Uh, because if you look at countries like Spain, if you look at countries like Italy, racing is in their blood. They, I, I had the opportunity to ride with uh, someone that I looked up to for a long time. I mean, ever since I saw his video, uh, Alex Olia. Are you guys? So he's the Ducati test rider. Uh, I'm sure you must have seen him in the Pani Gane ad or whatever, right? He's the guy doing all those crazy things. I remember distinctly when I first met him in Thailand when uh, Ducati had taken us there for the 959 launch. And I asked him, like, the way he, you know, like, back sitting, he's like sliding all around, like, how long have you been doing this? You must have fallen and broken so many poles. He's like, yeah.
suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire So the meetup is done. It was so awesome speaking to Sagar. Uh, so it's now time to leave home because it's getting very late. Here's the beauty tiger standing right next to me, but still have to say bye to it. The sad part was uh, my tripod actually came out or it broke. I don't know. Feeling sad for it because my best friend Hari gifted it to me. So let's see a way to fix this out. I really don't want to share how it broke. So. Let's end the vlog over here. Thank you for watching the video as always. Please like, share and subscribe. Do click on the notification bell for many more videos. With crimson and secrets and forbidden bliss can't stay still. Don't stop that.